So you're looking to move to the city of San Gabriel, California, but you want to know what to expect and where is the best place to look for you and your family. Well, today I'm going to be showing you a couple of areas around San Gabriel that may fit your needs. I'm going to be showing you what's special about their location, what's there to do here, how much are the homes, and a few things that you should be aware of so you'll know exactly where to look when you make your move here. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, my name is Kevin Quo, your Pasadena, Los Angeles real estate agent. And I'm here to provide value and information about living around the greater Pasadena, Los Angeles area. Whether you're looking to buy or sell, my partners and I would love to help achieve your real estate goals. You can contact me directly or book an appointment in the description down below. And if you enjoy my content, remember to like and subscribe to be notified anytime a new video comes out. So with that being said, let's begin. Now, to give you some context as to where we're talking about, the city of San Gabriel is a neighborhood within the San Gabriel Valley region. Located about 25 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles, 15 minutes by surface streets south of Pasadena, and adjacent to the 10 freeway. It's a small to medium sized town with an area of roughly 4.1 square miles with a population of around 39,000 people. Cities surrounding San Gabriel include Alhambra to the west, San Marino to the north, and Temple City to the east. The areas we're going to be looking at today will be the multifamily neighborhoods in the center of the city, the multifamily neighborhoods near the major commercial areas towards the southwest part of town, and the more prestigious and expensive single family neighborhoods towards the north adjacent to the city of San Marino. The schools here are very decent. Elementary and middle schools here score 7 out of 10 on great schools.org and Gabrielino High School which scores 8 out of 10 is ranked 723 nationally on usnews.com. The first area of San Gabriel we are looking at would be the multifamily neighborhoods located on the north part of town around Las Tunas Drive and Broadway Boulevard. Over here you can conveniently get your daily necessities like banks, hair salons, and a few restaurants on Las Tunas Drive. However, Las Tunas Drive also turns into Main Street Alhambra to the west and leads to Camellia Square in Temple City to the east. These are two major commercial areas in these neighboring cities that have a ton of food, entertainment, and shopping opportunities. There's also a general hospital called the San Gabriel Valley Medical Center surrounded by specialty medical offices to cater to all your health and medical needs. There aren't as many class A style condo communities here. You don't see too many communities with fancy amenities like private gyms, movie theaters, or clubhouse lounge areas. That isn't necessarily a bad thing. The condos here are generally townhouses where you occupy the floors above and below you so you have more privacy and it feels more like a single family home. They typically have private garage for vehicle privacy and extra storage. And because they have less amenities, they tend to have lower HOA as well. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you're looking for a single floor condo that don't require you to go up and down stairs, I've never seen a condo more than a thousand square feet that are single level. Most condos, including brand new condos still under construction with three or more bedrooms, will be multiple floors. And I've never seen one with private elevators either. So if you must have a larger three to four bedroom, one story condo, your choices will be pretty limited and you may need to look into buying a single story house instead. Older three bedroom, 1500 to 1700 square foot condos in San Gabriel will generally sell between 700 and $900,000. Newer three bedroom, 1500 to 1700 square foot condos built in the 2020s will sell between 900,000 and $1 million. Let's say you raise your budget to less than $2 million, but you want to live in the nicest neighborhood that this town has to offer. In my opinion, the most expensive and most prestigious areas to live in in San Gabriel are towards the north part of town, north of Las Tunas Drive, just south of the bougie, even more expensive city of San Marino. Over here, you get the same feeling as living in San Marino without having to pay the San Marino price tag. 
the same cute cottage house across the border between San Marino and San Gabriel School District can have a quarter million dollar price difference. You'll see more unique, tastefully designed single family homes here. The streets here are nice and wide, very quiet, better landscape, and more green than the rest of the city. Taking a walk in the neighborhood is always pleasant. It's what most people imagine when they think of an ideal suburban area. Over here, you're also right next to the 18-hole members-only San Gabriel Country Club and Golf Course. The great part about living here is that recently, the prestigious San Marino School District which scores 9 out of 10 across its schools, have started allowing students outside of San Marino to apply and attend. Your kids will have to interview to get in, but if they do get in and you live in this part of San Gabriel, your kids may be able to enjoy a short commute to one of the best school districts in all of Southern California. Three bedroom, 1500 square foot single family homes here generally sell around 1 million to one and a quarter million dollars. Four bedroom, 2,000 to 2,500 square foot single family homes will sell around 1.4 to 1.5 million. And four bedroom, 3,000 plus square foot single family homes will generally sell around 1.7 to 1.9 million dollars. Okay, if you're a food lover and looking for low maintenance, convenient lifestyle close to supermarkets and some of the best Asian cuisine in Los Angeles County, the second area we are looking at is the multifamily neighborhoods on the southwest part of town around Valley and New Avenue. If you have kids, there are plenty of grass area and playground equipment at Vincent Park. And if competitive sports is more your thing, you're only minutes away from El Manser Park in the adjacent city of Alhambra, which has tons of recreational green space, multiple baseball, basketball, and tennis courts. Now keep in mind, while you are closer to recreational parks, this area isn't as green. The buildings won't look as fancy as the neighborhoods to the north. Some of the buildings here actually look really old and look like they can use some remodeling. And there's more traffic here because you're closer to the 10 freeway. But what it does have is close proximity to Valley Boulevard, which is like the mecca for foodies of Asian cuisine in all of Los Angeles County. When you look on Google Maps, you'll see several clusters of commercial areas along Valley Boulevard around New Avenue and Del Mar Avenue. These clusters of commercial strip malls make up the major commercial hot spots of San Gabriel. You'll find multiple boba shops, gift shops, stores that specialize in Asian beauty products, Asian supermarkets, and cuisine from around the world here. And people from around Los Angeles come here specifically for that reason. Now, what I've noticed is that if you're new to Asian cuisine, the food scene here can be a bit overwhelming. In China, there are 22 provinces and you don't realize how many different kinds of Chinese food there are until you come to this part of San Gabriel. If you just want a Chinese meat and rice dish for lunch, there are literally dozens of restaurants with different styles from different provinces to choose from, ranging from Sichuan to Beijing, Shanghai, so much that you may need to do some research before you know where to go and what to order. Another thing to keep in mind is that the commercial areas here do primarily cater to the Asian demographic when compared to neighboring cities like Alhambra or Pasadena. 60% of the population in San Gabriel are of Asian descent and besides having your typical American fast food chains, San Gabriel does lack high-end American and European eateries that you'll find in other areas in neighboring cities like Old Town Pasadena or Main Street in Alhambra. The good thing is these places are only a few minutes drive away so you'll never be too far from Eastern and Western food. So what do you guys think about living around these areas around San Gabriel, California? Please let me know if you agree or disagree with my opinions. If you have any real estate related needs or questions around living around the greater Los Angeles area, leave me a message and my partners and I would love to help achieve your real estate goals. To learn more about living around this area, check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe to get updates on all new videos every time one comes out. Until next time, God bless and goodbye.